Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing things that I happily pay for. Huh? Who happily pays for things? Well, I do. Happy Frugal Friday, friends. If we haven't met yet, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Kate. I love talking about frugal living, saving money, budgeting, all things that are gonna make your life better and have fun while we do it. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Speaking of things, let's get to the first thing I happily, happily, cheerfully, joyfully spend money on. And that is my mortgage. Right, Buns? That's right, we love it. If you're new to this channel, I am a single mom and I have been working my tail off to eventually purchase this home for me and my son. And I've finally done it just in the last couple months. And even though my rent was one price and it literally doubled to get this mortgage, all budgeted for, yes. Um, at first you might think, geez, that must have been quite a shock and you must hate that. Um, all I feel is gratitude, to be very honest. And when I sign that check over every month, I feel filled with pride and joy that this is where I get to live now. Uh, in general, it's one of the, it's not one of, it's probably right up there, at least top two, top three, with the best decisions I've ever made. Our life now is uh, quite different, meaning more relaxed, more freedom, more joy, more everything that is good versus where I was at before. So when I sign that check every single month and pay my mortgage company, I'm like, love you mortgage company, peace, little check, prosper, keep us where we are, happy to be here, happy to pay every single dollar that I get to spend in this space. Okay, enough mush for you. I get, I get really excited about all of these things. Uh, the second thing is food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people get excited about food, but I also have like a weird thing about loving to watch my son eat. I've talked to a few adults about this, so I hope I'm not the only one. I know I'm not because I have a couple friends that feel the same way, especially when their kid was a baby, just enjoying watching them eat and being so like content and full and, and have what they need. And so when I spend money on food and I'm nourishing my son or even nourishing my pets, I feel, again, there seems to be a theme going here and that's gratitude. I feel so gracious that we have food on the table and we're all able to eat. I know. <laughs> I know people complain about their grocery bills. You guys know mine ranges usually between $300, $350 a month. And I feel nothing but happiness and again, gratitude that I can spend that money on nourishing our bodies, keeping us alive, keeping us content and, and having what we need. Number three, the Third thing that I happily spend money on is donating money when I can to places that need it. We were just talking about food and for some reason that's a real hot spot for me, like in my heart. The idea of people starving and I, I mean truly starving, not just me hangry and need food and you know that kind of hunger, I'm talking about real hunger. And uh, I remember reading this couponing book back when I was more into couponing. I'm not so much into it anymore. This book I was gifted a while back. It was a couponing book. And the author was sharing how she started couponing because her kids were literally going to bed hungry often. And uh, doesn't that, I, I mean, there's hunger in many places and a lot of people don't have enough to eat. So um, one thing I like to do is donate to the food pantry, our local food pantry, when I can, and I feel super happy about doing that because people need to eat, like in your own local community. I know we we're concerned with feeding people everywhere, but you know, start right where you are. Start right in your own neighborhood if that's something you can do. And um, as you guys know, one of my budgeting tips is always to give a little every single month, even if it's $5 to get started, because a giving heart 
opens your heart and I swear brings more money into your life. When you stop holding on to it tightly, I've talked about this many times, uh, giving my money to good causes, good places, places where other people need it. And I truly feel like the money is being used for good and benefiting someone else. I'm happy to spend that money. And you know, the food pantry nearby, I found out my brother donates to the food pantry often. My boss donates to the food pantry often. And that made me really happy that people are pitching in as much as they can because I just think hunger, I mean, what's worse than that? Not having that basic need or shelter. But anyway, my point being, I'm happy to spend money on donating money to places and people that need it. Okay, so those were the three big things I happily spend money on. Now I'm gonna get into things that are a little bit more on the lighter side that I love spending money on and they bring me joy. And all right, the first one is something I've mentioned to you guys before. I don't know what video it was, but this is an item that I have that I just bought a new one because the other one, the Velcro got all weird because I washed it so many times. Um, this is a towel wrap. Okay, get excited. This is, it's like a towel, but you wrap it around yourself. And when you get out of the shower, this thing makes you hands free. See, here we go. Wrap it up. And then you don't have to be holding your towel. Hi. baby. I feel like in the summer it's light enough and you're not getting all sweaty because all this is open but I want to be able to move about and do you know my hair my makeup and when I have a towel hanging and I'm not ready to put my clothes on yet this thing is just just a little piece of heaven in my life and then in the winter it's enough to keep the body parts warm but you're also you know coming out of a hot shower it's like the perfect mix so if you don't have one of these yet I got it at Kohl's, it was probably $10, and I feel like a good time to get them is like right now college students are getting these when they're going back to school, and then maybe after that back to school time, they'll be on sale for like five bucks at Target, Kohl's, so look out for that. Or maybe pick one up for Christmas, or pick one up for your girlfriend for Christmas, or pick one up for any friend for Christmas, cause these wrap towels make me so happy, make my life easier. If you don't have one, what are you waiting for? The next thing I happily spend money on is candles. This candle, it is from Kohl's, it's crackling cedar wood. Oh, it just smells like fall. And it is now September, you guys, when you are watching this. It's September. And I'm already starting to have that like cozy feeling in my house and burning candles really adds for me relaxation at the end of the night, that smell. If you ever watch my nighttime routine, the part of like turning down the house, I have candles when I'm starting into that mode of relaxation now. and. Candles just make me really happy. And again, I think this was like $9.99 at Kohl's and I think I had a 30% off coupon. So you know what I'm saying? You don't have to get Yankee candles every time. I love Yankee candles though, don't get me wrong. But these Kohl's candles, they're Sonoma brand. They're a good deal. And next, something I love spending money on and especially when I'm not spending on it going through a drive-thru, which by the way, if you spend money going through the drive-thru for coffee, I'm not gonna be like, don't do it. Look, it depends on what you choose to spend your money on, right? And my thing is coffee. So I love brewing my own coffee at home. I have a K-cup um, Keurig, a uh, little reusable thing that I do, and I fill it with coffee. And I love spending money on coffee because, let's face it, I need coffee every single day. You, anyone, raise your hand, coffee. Love coffee. I have coffee with a little bit of hazelnut creamer in the morning. I use the Hannaford brand creamer and it's just so worth it for me. So it's something that I happily spend money on, especially when I buy it at home. It makes me feel better because I know I'm getting more value. I feel like I save a ton and 
let's face it, I love coffee. In the morning, I usually have two cups, probably two cups. The first one to get going and the second one to solidify, I'm ready for the day. Happily spending money on the coffee. Happily. Now is your turn. Please take a second to think, what do you happily pay for? Pop it in the comments down below so we can all read what you happily spend your money on. Now, before you leave, I have another video, if you like this kind of thing, that I think you will love. If you've never seen it before, it's some money mindset tricks. These three little tricks that I learned that make budgeting fun and it gives you a whole new perspective on spending your money and how you treat your money. If you like the sound of that, I'm gonna leave it right up here for you to watch on your way out and to enjoy next. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up before you head out of here. Check out this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Funds, did you like the video? Hey, gorgeous. Both the babies are doing awesome. Buns, you can't drink coffee.